Yo, what's good? This is the Syllabus Tour for Cine 230 Remix Cultures. I am, you know who I am. I'm Andre, the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp. I'm here in my nerd lair in the barn. It's crazy, you're gonna watch lecture videos and videos of me in my barn and you're gonna see all this crazy stuff behind me, you know, in that video. Um, you know, crazy wood art and this, you know, nasty stuff that I ripped out. And I built this dope DJ nerd lair room uh, in here. So anyways, I'm in the nerd lair um, doing this thing. We're going to go over the syllabus. I suggest, you know, read through it. But if you don't want to read it and you want to hear the person who wrote it talk about it, this video's for you. Okay. Um, anyways. Here's some quotes. I'm not going to read them. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin, a great American D. Okay. Originality is the art of concealing your sources. Wow. Um, listen, I don't like Thomas Jefferson at all. He was kind of a, 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 a great, great American D. Um, no one possesses the less because everyone possesses the whole of it. He who receives an idea from me receives it without lessening me, as he who lights his candle at mine receives light without darkening mine. This is basically saying if you take a good idea, it doesn't actually hurt the original idea. I'm going to talk more about this later in our class. Um, you know, later in the, the first day when we watch Everything is a Remix. But, um, and then I have a great quote from DJ Spooky, who's not really that much of a D. Uh, cool dude with D for DJ. Um, sampling is a new way of doing something that's been with us for a long time. The mix breaks free from old associations. New contexts form from the old. The script gets flipped. Wow. <laughs> the languages evolve and learn to speak new forms, new thoughts. The sound of thought becomes legible again at the edge of new means. What the hell is he talking about? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, I think it's insulting to read a syllabus. You know, like in, in you know, uh, in-person classes when someone reads a syllabus to you or reads slides to you even worse that's like an insult to your intelligence um, so I'm not gonna read it I'm gonna go over it all right all my instructor information my office hours which I hold in person and on zoom my office which is night 263 I have one office hour scheduled but also by appointment and I also give you my cell phone number so you can hit me up call me you know text me whatever communicate with that way you know respectfully you know what I'm saying I, I am a, a grown a grown adult although you wouldn't be able to tell probably uh, with like kid and stuff so you know please do not hit me up at like midnight or one with questions on the quiz or something because guess what I get up at five I probably have fallen asleep by then. And guess when I'm going to text you back if you do that to me? I'm going to text you at 5. You know what? I'll call you like 10 times at 5 to answer your question. So, you know, be cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. My social medias, DJ Food Stamp 33 I don't know why you'd ever want to follow me. I post pictures of my kid, of toys that I collect and records I collect and eventually music that I make and you know whatever be a lot of bee stuff a lot of bee stuff because I'm just you know in the bees I even got my my honey supers in here that I that I pulled I'm gonna pull the honey out of got all sorts of stuff in this nerd lair yo um but anyways I'm on the TikTok yo I just I just got that because like Trump said it was gonna ban it or whatever and I was like I gotta get that um you know I, I don't I don't know if I have anything on there, no lip sync content, no, um, you know, no really spicy reels or anything uh, from me. And then I give a SoundCloud link for some beats I've made. I mean, really don't have anything on there, but I just put it there. Just like, you know, students want to just check, check stuff out. All right, communicating with how, how and why, how do you communicate with me? Well, straight up email. Just make sure you put Cine 230 in the subject header followed by whatever, whatever you need. Um, that's a good way. Um, but how I communicate with you is I'm going to use announcements. And so announcements should send an email to you. If not, you want to go into your notifications and set that up. But then the, the email will live on the announcements part of the canvas. I'm going to do a canvas tour, um, a canvas site tour here in a few minutes. But, um, you know, um, the email will live on the announcement, so you can always refer back to it there and read through stuff there on the announcement uh, section, okay? Um, 
you know, but yeah, just hit me up via email. Like I said, I give you my cell number. Use that mm, cautiously in the sense of like, use it if you're taking a quiz and you have a, you have a question. I'll do my best to answer, you know, but you know, I can only do my best. So, um, but some students hit me up and send me funny memes or whatever. I mean, it is whatever. I'm, you know, I'm a little different than probably some other faculty in that respect. Um, you know, um, yeah. So office hours, you know, definitely call me, text me during office hours. Um, and my, my in-person office hours, you know, my, my, my office is a little tight. So just come knock on the door, come get me. I can jump out into the hallway where we have a little lounge area. Um, all right, yo, 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 this is an online course. Did you not know that? <laughs> right? This is an online course, right? This is a, a choose your own adventure. Do I want to get an A or do I not want to get an A? You know, do I, you know, uh, you know, do I want to do my work today or not? <laughs> you know, it's up to you, you know, to do the work. It's your responsibility. You have to be, you're ha- going to be held accountable for, for all this stuff. So, you know, and you get to bask in your successes and, and your failures here. So, you know, I know some of you, um, you know, maybe first year students, yo, you ain't ever done your laundry before. Mom has always woken you up for school. Um, well, I ain't your mom, yo. <laughs> uh, I ain't metaphorically your mom. I, you know, so like, you know, you, you need to be up on your own stuff. You need to fold your own laundry. You need to cook your own mac and cheese. And you need to do your damn quizzes and you get through your modules. <laughs> All right. For real, uh, just do it. You know, um, it's up to you. The other thing about this is that um, I filmed most of these lectures during um, spring 2020 when COVID was first popping, right? So it's pretty awkward in that sense, but kind of funny in that sense um, because everybody was weird uh, then and they're they're certainly super weird right now, um, but like really weird then. or weird in a different way. But anyways, you get to bask in some of that. Uh, the thing about that is I say, oh, the quiz next, or, I mean, the test next week or this or that. Ignore all that time-based stuff. Ignore anything time-related, meaning, um, you know, oh, we're going to do this next week or the final exam. That shit don't exist, but the content's on point. Do pay attention to dates like, you know, uh, by which state are things in the public domain, you know, pay attention to that stuff, but not like there's a test next week. Okay. Cause I'm lying. Just pay attention to the sil- syllabus. Okay. Um, technical requirements, yo, you need a computer and you need some Wi-Fi. Um, I cannot tech troubleshoot. So I give you some numbers. I can't tech shoot your, you know, troubleshoot your computers, um, your Panopto, your canvas. I can't do that stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, but you definitely need a computer. All right. Um, what's this class about? This class is about not only ideas, but the ownership of ideas. Um, we ask some important questions like what is the mean to be creative? What is creativity? What is, um, originality? You know, what is law? What is legal culture? Um, and then what is remixing? What, who remixes, right? And, you know, we tend to think of remixing as like edgy, subversive fan art memes or whatever. But like we watch remixes all the time. If you have Disney Plus, you know, Disney's the greatest remixer of all time, you know. Um, you know, so we're going to explore this. And it's important because like pretty much every job you're going to have almost is going to be grounded in intellectual property law and and protecting ideas. And you can't just use this or you can use it, but you got to get licensed. So we're going to go over the practical elements of, you know, intellectual property law, patent, trademark, copyrights. We're going to go over fair use. We're going to give you the whole spectrum, yo. And so you're going to be really well prepared, in in my opinion, at least to ask the right questions if you want to start your own company, if you go and work at a record label, if you go and work... Um, you want to start as a freelance, you know, um, you know, media artist, if you are a scientist, whatever it is, this will give you good, like ground, groundwork for thinking about things and kind of knowing, um, all that stuff. So that's a course description. I ain't reading it to you. Um, but you know, most of the American economy is, is grounded in selling and exporting ideas. I mean, 
intellectual properties is a major part of, of our world, you know, and our economics. And, you know, um, you're going to, you're going to, you know, I don't want to toot my own horn, but like this may be an important class for you. I'm just, just saying. Okay. You read the expected learning outcomes. Guess what? You're going to learn some shit. Just saying, you may learn one thing. Um, it's important to know I'm not a lawyer. Yo, don't take this as legal advice. Just this is general legal knowledge. This is legal cultural knowledge, okay? And this is not a law class, so I don't make you memorize, you know, case law and stuff like that. But I do ask you to know, be familiar with some cases and why they're important because they set precedents for certain things that we can and can't do, um, etc. Um, but don't be like, get yourself sued and be like, well, Andre said, I'll be like, I'm out, you know? Um, all right. Workload. So you have two modules per week, uh, most weeks, except for week one. Um, and, um, yeah, you gotta do a little bit of reading, you know, try to do as much reading as you can. Um, all this stuff is online. Like everything is online. You know, there's no book, nothing like that. And each module, you know, to watch the lecture videos and to take the quiz and stuff like that, um, and to do a weekly response, it should take you between like two and three hours, you know, per. So, you know, looking at six to 10, 12 hours a week, um, you know, depending on how fast you like to do stuff, um, you know, and your habits and, and, all, and all that stuff, okay? Um, a little bit more when we get to the end and you have a final project due, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, all right. This is, uh, you know, a class in the cinema studies department. So we maybe watch more films, um, than in or clips than in other classes. I just like to give a disclaimer there.